All right, today we're going to need the sheet that says multi-step equations with variables on both sides. So we previously learned how to um, solve equations that had just one variable on one side, and now we see we now have variables on both sides. Okay, so today I'm going to start off with, and I'm going to look for anything that needs to be distributed first. So if I look at the left side, the left side, there's nothing else to do at this moment. So I'm just going to copy that down. And then the right side... I have the seven that needs distributed inside the parentheses. So seven times negative five is negative 35. Seven times negative five N is negative 35 N. Okay, and then what I do, and you don't have to do it this way, but I like to take all my variables to the left side and all my plain numbers, so the numbers without the variables, which is also called a constant, I take all my constants to the right side. So I see over here, I don't want this minus 35n, so I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to do plus 35n to move it to the other side, so an inverse operation. So that cancels on the right side. Okay, I'm going to put my variable in front. Now, this negative n, it always helps to drop a 1 in front of it. So now I know that's a negative 1 plus 35, which will give you 34n. Okay, I'm going to cross it off because I used it. This 33 that was sitting there, there was no symbol in front, so I know that has to be a positive 33. I'm going to put equals, and then I have my negative 35. Okay, so now I'm going to subtract 33 to both sides to move my constant to the right side. Um, that gives me 34n equals negative 35, and a minus 33 is negative 68. And then last, I'm going to divide both sides by 34. So when I do that, um, I get an answer of n is equal to negative 2. Okay, number 2. So again, on the left side, there's nothing to do. I'm just going to copy that down again. Equals, on the right side, I have this 4 that can be distributed. So 4 times 3a gives you 12a. 4 times 2 is positive 8. Um, again, I'm going to move my variables to the left side, so I need to get rid of this 12a by doing minus or subtract 12a, which means I need to come over here and do the exact same thing. Okay, so these canceled out, and then I'm going to go for, put my variables in front. So 8a minus 12a is negative 4a, and we have the negative 4a. Uh, I'm going to bring down this minus 16 equals. Over here we have a positive 8. Okay, then I'm going to add 16 to both sides to move my constant to the right, so that cancels there. We have a negative 4a equals 8 plus 16 is 24. All right, my last step, I'm going to divide everything by negative 4. So I get an answer of a is equal to negative 6. Okay, number 3. So number 3, we have, um, again, nothing on the left side to be done at the moment. So just bring that down. And then on the right side, we have this 4 that can be distributed inside the parentheses. Okay, 4 times 5b is 20b, and then 4 times 1 is positive 4. Okay, so now I'm going to move this to the left side. So by doing the opposite, subtracting, that cancels there. 5b and minus 20b is negative 15b. Then we're going to bring down this minus 26 equals, we have positive 4 over there. Okay, and now I'm going to do opposite. So I'm going to add 26 to both sides. This cancels. We get negative 15b equals 30. So we'll finish it off by dividing by negative 15. And we get an answer of b is equal to negative 2. Okay, number 4. Uh, this time the left side has a number to distribute. So I'm going to distribute this negative 2 inside. So negative 2 times 5x is negative 10x. Negative 2 times a negative 3 is positive 6. And then bring down equals 18 minus 6x. Okay, so I want to move this minus 6x to the other side here. So I'm going to do the opposite. So I'm going to do plus 6x. That cancels. So these two come together, give you negative 4x. I bring down plus 6 equals 18. Okay, I'm going to subtract 6 to both sides. So we get negative 4x is equal to 12. And then I'm going to divide 
both sides by a negative 4. And when I do that, I get x is equal to negative 3. Okay, you guys go into number 5. 6. 7. 8. 9. 10. And let's go to the next page. So the next page, starting off with number 11, we have a couple more problems to do together. These um, increase in difficulty because now we have distribution on both sides here. So I'm going to start with the left side. I'm going to distribute this negative 4 in. So we have negative 4 times b is negative 4b. Negative 4 times 7 is negative 28. Equals. Come over here and distribute this 4. Uh, remember, we have... This piece back here, that doesn't get distributed, just what's right in front of the parentheses. So 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 6b is 24b. And then I bring down this minus 2b. Okay, before I move anything to different sides, I want to see, is there anything I can combine on the same side? And right here, these are on the same side, so I can combine these first. So 24b minus 2b. 22b and I still have the plus 24 equals over here negative 4b minus 28 okay so now I'm going to subtract 22b come over here do the same thing that cancels out negative 4b negative 22b is negative 26b and then I bring down the minus 28 equals 24 okay so I'm going to add 28 to both sides and when I do that, that cancels there. So I have negative 26B equals 24 plus 28 is 52. Okay, we're going to divide everything by negative 26. That cancels out. And we get an answer of B is equal to negative 2. All right, let's go look at number 12. Uh, number 12, we're going to distribute again both sides here. So... This 2 is going to go into this parentheses. So 2 times b is 2b. 2 times 4 gives you the 8. Equals. Over here, we have like a 4 minus 6. And you might be tempted to subtract those first, but order of operations says you have to multiply. So this negative 6 is going to be distributed in. Okay, this 4, you just bring down and it just waits right now. Okay, so this is negative 6 times negative 4b, which is positive 24b. And then a negative 6 times a positive 3 is negative 18. Okay, then we're going to combine like terms on the right side. So we see we have a 4 and we have a negative 18. All right, so I'm going to put this 24b in front there. And then 4 take away 18 is negative 14. And I'm going to bring down the left side that I have, 2b plus 8. Okay, I'm going to subtract 24b to both sides. And that cancels. 2, take away 24, gives you negative 22b. Then bring down the plus 8 equals, and then we have a negative 14 from here that comes down. So now I'm going to move my constant to the right side by subtracting 8 to both sides. That cancels out. Um, so I have negative 22b. And then these two come together, gives you negative 22. So last step, divide everything by negative 22. That cancels out. And you'll get an answer of B is equal to, not negative 1, but that should be a positive 1, because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So B is equal to 1. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, leave off 13 and 14. And you guys go ahead and do 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20.